Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's Roz here from New Old Finds, and I'm a brand ambassador for Redesign with Prima. And we are going to, or I'm going to, continue working on my um, my little space here that I've made. Um, I painted my walls, and then I stenciled them, and then I added here some um, transfers. And my painting that I did is here. And um, my other desk is over there that I have to still paint. But so in the, in the meantime, before I paint it and do what I'm going to do to that, I have what we're going to work on today, which is a, I guess they call them like a, a blotter. Um, so let me point you down so you guys can see. But I guess, what do you call them? Like a, um, I get, they're like a, like a, a blotter, a desk blotter, I guess, or whatever. So, you know, like it makes it so your mouse can go smooth and yada, yada, yada. Right. Anyway, so I got this one and I love the color. It's kind of like a, like a dusty rose. It was supposed to be purple, but it's really not purple. This is not purple. Not purple to me, this is purple, right? Purple, I don't know. Anyway, either way, it was supposed to be purple and it didn't, so it was kind of a surprise, a good surprise because I like this color a lot. Okay, and so it is, um, it's kind of like a faux leather on top, like a pleather, and then underneath is cork. And it's really soft, it's kind of spongy, um, it sticks really well to the surface and I believe they said that the cork was um, recycled. So I was kind of happy about that. Um, they're very inexpensive, really easy to do, you know, a, you know, something that is one of a kind for your office space. Um, the, I think it's like less than $17. The link is in the description to where I got this one. And I absolutely love it. My mouse and everything go really smoothly on it. Okay, so I'm going to transfer today. And what I've already done to it is I added, I don't know if you guys recognize it, but this is the, uh, the new stamp. And this one is uh, vintage wallpaper. So all I've used is the one little section here, and I just used it three times on the bottom of um, on the bottom of the blotter. I'm just gonna call it a blotter because I cannot remember what they called it. Um, and this is uh, vintage wallpaper, and it comes with this piece, this middle piece with the flowers, and then the other. Um, Piece. So you can use them all three together. They butt up to each other on the sheet. So you can see the where it butts up. But all I needed was the one, because that's all I was gonna do, was just the base part of it. And then the transfer that we're gonna use is um, the beautiful Violet Hill, because we all love it. It's got such great colors. Okay, so let me see if you guys are a little, let me see how to show you more. There we go. So hey, say hi. I hope I can see comments this time. Last time I could not see comments. Um, so hopefully I can this time. So let me know if you're here and if you're ready for Christmas, if it's snowing. I don't know. I live in Georgia, so it is still... 50s, no snow, of course. So, all right, so I'm just going to start transferring, and I have this section here I cut out, and I pretty much cut out most of, if not all, the gold uh, writing. You know, there's a lot of gold writing that goes around this one um, because I just didn't, I, want, I felt like it was going to just overpower what I was trying to do. So this goes here like so. And then this goes down here 
with the floral up here like that. Yep. All right. I Nobody said anything, so I, I don't think I can see comments again because I'm sure somebody would have said hello by now. So if I can't see comments, I'm so sorry. But thanks for joining, guys. Thanks for hanging out. And I hope this is something that you guys think about maybe doing because I think this is a really fun project. Um, but I think all my projects are fun because I think I'm pretty uh, pretty original in my ideas. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to start. And uh, you know that the grid lines are new for the transfers. And it does help, especially when you're doing something like this, to, you know, be able to line it up. Make sure that you're straight. Oh, I love it. Okay. I think that is absolutely perfect right there. Now, fingers crossed that this actually sticks because I, I don't actually know. I, I would assume it would because it sticks on leather and everything else, but... We're going to find out, okay? <laughs> We're going to do it live. So let's see. Because it's very, um, this is, is squishy, right? So I don't know, you know, how it's going to be trying to get it to attach being so squishy. But we'll see. It should be good. I'm just going to do my edges um, and then work my way over just to see how it does, if it's going to do it at all. Yeah, I think it will. It's going to take a little bit, I think, um, just to coax it on. I'm going to move the box because it's really loud. Shaking. All right, let's see if it does it. It take a little bit. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you could share, that'd be awesome. I wish I could see comments, but again, I don't know why I can't, but for some reason I can't. I don't know why. All right, let's see. So when I do paint my desk, I'm going to paint my desk white, and um, I think this will look so super pretty on top. Um, originally, I was going to actually um, uh, just transfer my desk, but the more I used it, the more I realized that I would just end up wearing the top down by using the mouse and um, all the other stuff on there. So I figured this would be a great alternative to what I wanted to do. And if I want, if I wanted, I could always, oh, hi, Maria, I can see comments, yay. <laughs> I'm delighted. I was going to be so bummed that I was just going to be sitting here talking to myself again. So I'm glad you said hello. Thank you. Okay, good. All right. Well, that's, that's so much better because it's really boring when you're like doing the lives and then you can't see any comments. And then you're just like rambling. There's a hair bugging me there. All right, so it is transferring. It's just um, going to take a little extra elbow grease. And I don't know if that's maybe because it's over top of the um, uh, the inks. I had to force the ink to dry because I just did it a little bit earlier. So that could be because that's exactly where I am right here. Transferring is over the inks. We'll see. Who's that? Hi, Lisa. Isn't this pretty, you guys? I think this is going to be so awesome. Like, I can't wait for it to be done. I think it's going to be so pretty. 
And you can interchange. That's what I was going to say. So, like, you know, you could have one for Christmas. You could have one for Easter, spring, summer, winter. You could have one for your birthday. You know, you could you could get a whole bunch of them and, and make them all different. And then your desk could be, like, whatever you want it to be. There we go. Whew. Yeah, I think so. It was taking a little bit more to do on the ink for sure. Because over here, it just it adhered right away. So a little more elbow grease on um, on the where I where I had the ink first. And you can you can put uh, stick and style on here, which I'm going to do later. And you could do uh, more stamps. You could do more transfers. You could transfer the whole thing if you wanted. Um, and then you can seal with uh, you can seal with a spray clear coat, or you could you know do like a wax. Just you need to be careful where you're going to have your mouse. So me personally, I'm actually not going to um, seal it at all. Um. I do use my my desk a lot, but I don't anticipate using it so much that, you know, I'm going to rub any of this stuff off or anything. So I think that it will be perfectly fine. Oh, it's so pretty. I may add some, um, some extra stuff later on oh I know the stick and styles are awesome they really are I have a video on my uh, on my page or on my YouTube channel I don't remember where I put it I think it's on both um, where I do paint and waxes using the stick and style at the same time it's really awesome Okay, almost finished this little section. So it definitely was harder to do over top of where the ink was. And uh, I think that was just because it wasn't, um, you know, 100% super duper dry. Okay, and then you're just going to use your fingers because you know your fingers are warm. So make sure that they're warm. And then you're really just going to, uh, for lack of a better word, massage your transfer into the texture that is on uh, your faux leather or pleather or leather or whatever you want to call it. If you got a real blotter, you know, most of the time they really are their leather. Same principle as doing it on, um, on the purses or a jacket or anything else that's leather or pleather. You want to basically just make sure that your transfer becomes one with with the uh, thing hi Regina all right so let me do the top piece and then I'll give you guys a peek at how it looks the correct way not my way but the correct way but you guys can still see what I'm doing right all right so I'm gonna line this up and Normally, I would cut my doohickey lines, my, um, what do you call them, my printing lines, but because this one is um, all greens, really, this little section here, I wasn't too bothered by it. If I was going like through the middle of um, a clear, or not a clear, but a, a light colored, uh, uh, hi Rita, through a light colored flower or something, then I would um, I would cut my, my halo and my printing line off first. But this little section here is just the, the greenery, so I didn't really, I didn't really care. I don't think it's going to be super noticeable, plus, I'm going to have stuff on my desk anyway. 
I'm not too worried about it. But normally, yes, I would cut the printing line off and I shall probably do that on the other section that I'm doing. So there's that. And I'm sorry I was not here last week. I had a migraine and I tried to see if I could get it to stop before, but I did not. So I took the week off. Well, I took the Monday off, I should say. All right. Let's see. Yeah, so much easier. So it was definitely the uh, the inks that were causing the problem. Now again, if you wanted to seal, I would probably do like a, uh, a water-based uh, clear sealer, like an artist sealer or uh, like a polycrylic or something just to, um, just to give it some protection if you wanted to. I'm not going to and I shall, you know, basically just test and make sure and see that that's uh, a doable thing and I think it is I, I don't think that I'm gonna have any problems especially with these oops especially with these newer transfers um, they're just so much better that they really don't uh, they don't need top coating on things like this all right that's so pretty okay I'm gonna hold it up hi Sandy it is a really pretty transfer. I love this transfer. Okay, check it out. Let me put you up just a smidge so you can see. Look how cute so far. Love that. So you see at the bottom, I used the new um, stamps. And then, uh, so now I'm just using the, um, the Violet Heel Transfer on it. I love it, it's so pretty. So won't that look so pretty over top of a white desk? I think that would be so pretty over top of a white desk. And then my Cricut is like a um, like a mint green color, like this color. So it's like perfect. It's like a perfect match. It's so fabulous. Okay, let me see, you guys see again? Why is it like, there, oh my goodness, y'all were watching me like crooked. Cuckoo crooked, not just crooked. Okay, there we go. All right, hold on, I gotta move in my seat. All right, so now we're gonna do this part here. And this is gonna go up on this side. So, and like I said, these mats are very inexpensive. And um, I have the link to where I got this one in um in the description box and you know you can um and i believe they said that it was recycled cork on the box i would have to go back and look but i'm pretty sure that's what it said which i thought was really super cool all right so again we have our grid lines yay so that they can help us line it up straight okay i am committed to there um well boogers i forgot to cut the hold on let me see if i can cut it off let's see if i can cut it off like this i was going to cut the um the doohickey line off okay let's see hold on hold on don't let it sit down yet hold on let's go this way since i'm right-handed i gotta Cut it. All right, I'm cutting my printing line off. I should have done it prior. I almost forgot. So I'm going to do it now. Hopefully I don't ruin my transfer doing it. Now the printing line is basically where the computer knows it has to stop. And what happens is you add that and you add the halo, and then 
you you know when you go to line them up you're doubling up on your transfer and so it's making it a darker line than it needs to be so if you just cut that off then you, when you do your next piece so this one here I will just cut again and when I butt them up together then that won't be such a harsh dark line so you just want to cut just the tiniest sliver past where the halo is into the design just a sliver let's see I don't know if you can see that tiniest little sliver I cut off see that's all you need to cut off hi Lisa and then that um, that makes when you butt your your design up that you don't get a line going through it because nobody wants to see that all right so I'm just going to use my tool over the entire surface of this okay and then Do all of my little edge pieces. Okay. And you can cut and rearrange and take out pieces of your transfer if you don't want it. Um, you can always put back but you can't take out once you transfer so if you're not sure that you want something in your design element then just cut it out and then if you want to put it back in later you can the easiest way to make something your own is to do it differently than what was originally planned right get all the edges then you know your design is going to stick down Ooh, my table is wobbly today I need to figure out how to make it go back to the way it was I don't know something happened with the leg this is squishy it's taking a little bit more to a little more elbow grease to get the transfer to stick down but once it does then it's great it's just getting to that point that seems to be a little bit more difficult when it's on a squishy surface but it's doing it being picky about it yep do you get to celebrate Christmas with family and friends I do well my family anyway uh, yeah so I have um, well my my husband and my daughter here and then my son is gonna come and say hi so that's good because I haven't seen him in a long time he's going to come and say hello checking as I go make sure that everything is sticking down the way it should be some of these little smaller sections you have to go back over a couple times just to remind them that they're supposed to be sticking down
You're the boss. You have to tell them what to do. Stick down. Stay. You may not come back up with the paper. Okay, almost done this one. Yay! Awesome! Okay, and again, remember what I said. You want to use your fingers and uh, kind of just massage it into, massage your transfer into the texture and shape of whatever you are transferring onto. In this case, it's like a, it's not super texture, but it has, it has a bit of a texture for sure. Um, so you want that to kind of form to your transfer. Okay. So now we're going to do our last little piece here. And that will go here. Now I'm going to line them up. And when I line them up, I should be able to not have any uh, any printing line there visible in the pink. If I did it correctly and I cut enough off. Where am I? I am in uh, Marietta, Georgia. You know what they say, hot Lanta. That's where I'm supposed to be. It's not hot. But it's, it's warm still-ish. Like, I think it's like 60 today or something. So, for, you know, December, that is, that is warm. Basically, I'm coming. I've, I've been here for uh, almost 20 years. But I'm from uh, Toronto, Canada. And uh, so I'm used to snow and, you know freeze your eyeballs off when you walk out the door cold, you know? And so here it's strange when it's, you know, almost Christmas and it's still, still warm-ish. It's very strange. Even after almost 20 years, I'm still not used to it. I expect there to be snow, you know? Because what is Christmas without snow? I mean, any other day, no snow is fine. But Christmas, you I mean, it's just, you have to, right? Like, there has to be snow on Christmas. I don't know. It's all strange. And then, like, two years ago, we got, like, almost two feet of snow. <laughs> it was very strange. And you guys in Ontario had none. It was very backwards but then like it melted within like a couple days it, it, it you're right Rita you're a hundred percent correct Rita it is 2020 still almost done with it almost done with it <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to show you where my transfer is butted up. And you can still see it, but it's not, not super, super noticeable, right? So let's show you. I guess if I had cut it prior to, uh, you know, putting it down, that, that probably would have helped 100,000%. But instead, um, okay, so can you see... Whoop, can you see where, where uh, the line was? Can you see? It's right here. See? Ooh, right there. Oop. <laughs> right there. I mean, it's, it's still there if you're looking for it, right? But visually, from even this distance, it's really not that noticeable. Yeah, you and me both, Rosemary. I mean, everybody, I think, is going to be this year, this New Year's Eve is going to be off the charts, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right, guys, so what do you think so far? I think that is so pretty. I absolutely love it. 
Hi there, Flo Floppy Sana. I don't know how to say your name. I'm so, so sorry. All right, so I have a couple of little extras here from uh, another section that I wanted to add down here. So I'm just going to, and this again is showing you, if you have little pieces left over from other transfers or a section just didn't work in another, um, then uh, you can, you know, mix and match and, and move things around and put them where you want to put them to make it look like the design was meant to be like that, right? So in this instance, I'm going to stick this up into this little spot right here. And it's going to match up to where, um, where my little purple flower is right here. So it looks like it's part of it since the stem on this little bit is uh, purple. And then I will probably add this coming off of it after even though originally they didn't look like that. So that's what I'm saying. You can um, you can change things around. Lisa, this is a uh, blotter for a desk. So I have a pretty beat up uh, desk over there that I intend to paint white and hopefully eventually, you know, someday it'll, it'll happen. It's been like two years now that it hasn't been, but I'm slowly getting my office together and trying to get it to look pretty. I had to do my live little area here because I could not take the PP yellow of the walls anymore and especially not live. Like when I saw my lives back and the PP yellow was there, it was just like, ugh. nobody wants to look at PP yellow. Nobody. So I had to, I had to paint the walls and do something fun to them. Okay, so again, over the inks, it's being a little more uh, picky picky, but that's okay. It does go on, no problem. You just have to be friends with it for a little bit, coax it on. Okay. Yeah, it would look good on a table. But yeah, specifically, it's for uh, for my, my desk. Um, and I put the link in, in the description, so if anybody's looking for it, um, see it has the, uh, the cork on the back, and it's so really, it's so squishy and soft, so it's really nice when you're, you know, having to type a bunch or whatever, it's, there's a little bit of give there, so it's a little, it's, it, my wrists haven't been hurting as much, for sure, if I'm sitting there typing a lot. They really do help, these, these blotters. They really make a difference. And I'm getting to be old. I'm, I'm an old lady, so I gotta, I gotta get the, the things to take care of me. <laughs> e okay, there I added the extra little bit there and you would never know that it wasn't intended to be there. No, I'm not going to. Um, you can top coat it though, if you want. This, the, the ink is now permanent, um, and the transfer, these new transfers, um, they, they are just so much, uh, so much better. Um, they're flexible and whatnot. Um, they're stronger, but if you wanted to top coat it, you absolutely could. Um, I would use like a spray sealer, like a, a matte, uh, artist sealer or something like that. I believe that, um, I, I think, is it Rust-Oleum that has one? I think it was. Um, it's a really good sealer uh, for this kind of, this kind of thing. But you don't have to seal it if you don't want to. All right, so I'm gonna hold it up so you guys can see. And I may add, um, hold on. Let me move the camera up a bit. Boop, 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 boop. Look how pretty it is. Um, I may add another little bit of, hold on, let me go this way like that. I may add some more um, stamps or something up there. I'm not sure yet. Maybe uh, 
maybe some stick and style with some wax. I don't know, but isn't it pretty? I'm going to be so delighted looking at my desk now instead of the yucky brown. I mean, I had been using the 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 blotter for a while now, but um yeah. So this is I'll show you guys. So let's see if I can get how much more higher I can get. There's my artwork. And then let's go this way. That is the wall that I did. Um, uh, it's falling over. Hold on. Let's see if I can make it go up higher. There we go. And straight would be nice, right? Nobody wants to be all crooked. Yeah, there we go. All right, it's kind of just gonna flop back down, but I'm gonna hold it. So that's the wall. And I did the, uh, oops, I did the stenciling. And then there's my, my mannequin. And the pretty, whoop, the pretty wall and then my pretty artwork. And then now I'm gonna have, whoop. and now I'm gonna have my beautiful blotter to match. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah, I'm not done yet, Lisa. Oh gosh, I still have so much to do. I still have to paint the rest of the room. I haven't. Um, I haven't finished. I'm guilty. So guilty of that. I only did like my little area here that I'm going to like that I stage in or whatever. And then um, I still have to finish the rest of the room. But I did get most of it like on this side done. Um, but I still have. Yeah, I have the rest of the room to do. And I have other plans that I'm going to do. So I think it'll be good. But I really like the the blotter. So that's awesome. It's pretty, 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 pretty. I love it pretty. All right, so guys, thanks for hanging out. And uh, I will see you next Monday. What is next Monday? I don't know. I guess it's after Christmas though. So have, yes, the rest is still the still yellow, Rita. It is, I'm, I'm guilty. I only did like two and a half walls or actually one and a half walls. So I have to finish the rest and I will, but just not yet. I wanted to get it all done first. So if I don't see you guys, um, who knows? I may have an impromptu live. I don't know. But if not, um, I will see you uh, next Monday and have a fabulous Christmas and a happy holidays. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks so much.